22 News had zoomed in on a cell in the storm and it, they said it looked like a tornado was touching down and then they said they had sightings of a tornado touching down in downtown Springfield. You weren't watching any TV, so they had no idea a storm was even coming. The tornado may already be on the ground. It's expected to develop shortly. Take cover now. We looked out the front door. Well, of course the house was here, but we looked over the house and we could see a tornado come over the top of the mountain. And they were in the kitchen and my mom had them come to the window because they saw a bunch, what Emily described as, she thought it was a bunch of birds. But it was just a bunch of debris. As it came, we were standing on the front porch, closed the door, ran down into the cellar, grabbed some water, grabbed some flashlights, grabbed some batteries. Once they realized what it was, then they all ran down to the basement. Moved to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. We were all in the cellar, watching out the cellar window on the side of the house over there as the debris and the trees were flying by the side of the house. But then the doors flew off the back of the house because of, I guess, the pressure and everything. The tornado went right over me. I saw it probably when it came out the end of the road here, and so I saw it come over the hill, kind of look like a monster. It was a direct hit. I mean, we all, this was the path that I went through. There was strong enough wind to take every tree out of our yard. Well, that's, yeah, that's Whether the we were on the edge or in the center of it, it yeah. and the yeah. house survived better than the trees did. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And they were big, they weren't little trees, they were yeah. um, If you take a look at, at our house, for instance, I mean, if you look at the house on the other side, they sustained right. some, some damage on the other side. Um, they lost all their roof shingles, they got a lot of, their house actually twisted a little bit, a lot of damage on the inside, and then the houses to this side don't exist anymore, and um, our house had uh, minimal damage. We lost some doors, um, didn't lose any siding, lost a little bit of aluminum trim. I mean ours was mostly debris damage from this house that was blown over. It came across the street in the front but I mean I think that with the strong construction practices and the two by six construction being able to you know transport the houses over the road and then pick them up with a crane and set them on the foundation I mean, they're, they're really about well. I mean, it survived an EF3, is what they're telling us, at about 165 mile an hour wind. So we're happy to have a modular. No, we're still here. <laughs>